on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself! Bullshit! Krista, run! I'm out! Grab her, let's go! Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! No! We have to go! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? Direct. Nick, find something. What are you doing, Nick? Sorry about Pete. Whatever. Why'd you leave my uncle? Back at the stream. Why'd you follow me? Pete got bit. What? He got bit. He wasn't going to make it. What do we do now? I don't care. If we're stuck here, we should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. Salut tout le monde, on est sur The Walking Dead pour la suite de notre let's play. Allez. To still. I know what it is. The fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. But that rig ain't fit to piss in. Do you think they'll break through that window? Guess I'll just stand here, talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Comment s'en faire d'ici? What is that stuff? Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> Whiskey. Whiskey. Now what? Oh fuck if I know. We wait, I guess.
Mais t'es con quoi Arrête de faire du bruit pour rien Passe, je m'y pose. <rire> What's your problem? I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? <laughs> Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Pissed a beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, It's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. We'll make it. Bullshit. I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. Il a pas tort sur ce coup. It's gonna be your first and your last. <laughs> to Peter Joseph Randall, the nicest mean old bastard I ever knew. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. I knew someone like you. He was always screwing up too. Screwing up? I didn't ask for any of this. Nobody does. But so what? Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. You're right. Ooh. Yeah. Now look, if we get separated, cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. On aurait peut-être dormir, non? You ready? Ça, je sais pas si t'es en état de me suivre. Fuck it. Nick sa mère. Bravo. Oh shit. On fait demi-tour. On a le time. Hey, over here. Come on, you fucks. Look at me. Get the fuck out of here. Moi, je nick. I said get the fuck out of here. Une maison divisée.
Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! Pete got killed. I was with Nick, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there! Get the guns! <coughs> Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. Well, we should go with you. It's too dangerous. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? You should know what's going on. He told you not to tell me, didn't he? He is in trouble. Oh my gosh. What happened? Clem? What's going on? Pete's dead. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... Perso, je l'aime pas trop la petite là. Donc, euh, <rire> m'en tape. You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I can't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? As long as you don't tell your dad. I won't, I promise. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, always aim for the head. Okay. Unless it's a person trying to hurt you, then what do I do? Just keep shooting. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s Sorry! Sorry. Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back. Hmm. Uh -huh. Bizarre. Je suis pas sûr moi. Il a l'air de marcher correctement, ça c'est sûr. Qu'est-ce qu'elle a vu Elle avait l'air surprise. Alors la dégaine. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. Donne-moi ton arme. I have to make him go away. Who is he I, I don't remember. No. Clem, I can't breathe. I, I can't breathe. Shh. Donne-moi ton arme. N'importe quoi. Hello. Ah, bravo. Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Hello, I'm sorry to disturb you. I only need a couple minutes of your time. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. I'm alone. Really? Yeah. I take care of myself. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Hey, qui t'a dit de fouiller? T'as cru que t'étais chez ta mère ou quoi? Person. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Just passing through, or you've been here a while. Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Ah, putain. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. Ah, Prends-le maintenant. <rire> well, it's a real nice place, kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch, but a smart man. I don't care. You know, you're really not very polite for a little girl. And you're not very polite for an adult. This is my house. Fair point. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything. <coughs> Putain, une vraie teubé la nana. <laughs> mais non, mais. Paye ta vieille cachette aussi. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Well, it's a kid. Yeah, looks like it was taken in this room. Et alors? You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Je vais pas me faire avoir par ces questions à la con. Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out.
Il ne dit rien. You have a real good day now. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? J'en sais rien moi, ferme ta gueule toi. <laughs> Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know, kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. <sighs> no, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? We gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody, grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now you said it was just up here. Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Come on, somebody quit. There. That's where we were. Nick! Get the door.
Jesus. Oh, hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Bien ouais, wesh, mec. T'as un risque à envie. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. <laughs> hey, Clem. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for not giving up on me. Don't worry about it. I won't forget it. Par contre, pour la photo, le mec il aurait pu regarder la date. J'en suis sûr dans ce genre de de photo, il y a la date au dos. What happened back there in that cellar? Did he do something stupid? Like you can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. Nick saved my life. Really? Yeah. Sort of. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're gonna have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beth. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. <laughs> 